chief architect of bebop, the high priest of modern music. I'm talking about the original Thelonious Monk. Even though Monk was called the chief architect and high priest of bebop, he really didn't actually play bebop. Now that's a contradiction, but it's the key to understanding Monk and his music. When listening to Monk, expect the unexpected. Now Monk was an eccentric, which basically means very unusual. He liked to wear all types of hats, big ones, little small ones, fezzes, koofies, everything. He would get up and dance a jerky dance when playing his music, and sometimes he might just spin around for a long time. But look, I'm talking about a long time. But Monk did unusual things. For a large part of his career, many people didn't even think he could play at all. Then, in an inexplicable twist of fate, Monk suddenly became the newest genius in jazz. He was in his 40s by that time, and he was playing the same as he had always played. What was it that people heard when they finally discovered Monk? Well, they discovered what was always in his music. His music communicates a wide range of feelings, funny, happy, sad, thoughtful, scary. Monk knew how to make you wait. And after you waited a little while, he would give you almost what you wanted, but in a place you didn't expect it. See, that was Monk, expect the unexpected. 